the respondents, we've been joined with Good afternoon. You may have a seat.
Dr. Sardiga Lina, Vice President of NU, to Mr. David Louis Rubongoya, Secretary General of NU, pre Mr. Joel Senyonyi, Spokesman Person of NU, for Mrs. Flavia Kalule Nababage, the Head of Women's League in NU, Five, Mr. Sentamu Fred Nyanzi, the head of mobilization in the NUP. Number six, Mr. Weiswa Alex, the head of patriotism and training in the NUP. Lastly, Council prayed that this court finds merit in the application and grants bail to the applicants. In reply, Council for the Respondent submitted that he was opposed the grant of bail to some of the applicants and is also not opposing the grant of bail to the following applicants, namely, one, Rachel Akiki to Musime, two, Nansove Sofian, three, Naumwenje Jamira Kaliango, four, Namubiru Fatuma, Five, Namayumba Joy, also known as Joy Strong. Number six, Lutaya Oliver. Number seven, Tumeirwe Monica. Number eight, Miro John. Number nine, Ismail Nyanzi Kadu. Number ten, Obicho Boni, also known as Kamanika. Makanika. 11, Musisi Bendict. 12, Ndiyansima Nelson. In opposing the bail application, some of the applicants, land counsel for the respondent, submitted according to para 5 of the evidence of, uh, of Detective AIP Wekesa Peter, the applicants referred to in para were inciting violence protests and were violent conducting towards police towards police officers which acts are likely to continue if granted bail. In a rejoinder, counsel for the applicant, Mr. Wameli, reiterated his earlier submissions. In reply to the affidavit opposing bail on Paragraph 2, the deponent is an investigating officer in this matter. He did not participate in the arrest or taking them into custody. You could not allege that they have been inciting violence when he was not with them. Pay attention. <clears throat> the Republic of Uganda Uganda Police Defense Forces, in the general court martial or in the Makindi, misread application number 005 of 2021, arising from a criminal case number UPDF stroke GMC stroke 001 stroke 2021. Rachel Akiki Katsume and 48 others versus Uganda. Ruling of court on bail. The applicants brought this application under Article 23, Subsection 6, Para A and Article 28, Subsection 3 of 1995 Constitution of Uganda. Section 14 of Tried Independent Act and Rule 2 of Judicature Criminal Procedures Applications. Rule. The application was by notice of motion 
supported by an affidavit of Benjamin Katana, Kajiremire, and advocates, and treasurer of the nation, National Unity Platform. <coughs> the brief grounds as contained in its motion were as follows. One, that the applicants have a right to apply for bail as per the Constitution. Two, that the applicants were arrested and charged with offense of unlawful possession of munitions contract section 3, subsection 1 and subsection 2 of the Firearms Act. Three, that the applicants have sureties and fixed places of abode within this court jurisdiction. Four, that the offenses with which the applicants are charged are available by this court. Five, that the applicants will abide by conditions this court will impose. Six, that the applicants will not interfere with investigations. Counsel for the applicant then presented the following sureties to court. Congratulations. <laughs> Given at least ten minutes for the for the panel to deliberate, then we come. In. Chair, honorable members, uh, in further support of uh, one of the applicants, <coughs> applicant number 13, is due to undergo or was due to undergo a uh, medical operation. through a procedure called as gastrocolonoscopy. I've just received a copy of the medical report and referral later from St. Francis Hospital in Zambia, where he last visited on 3rd December last year, before his arrest. And there is no evidence 
that uh, in custody where he is, he can ably undergo that process. And this also goes to the issue of the medical requirements needed for many of the applicants. We reiterate our prayer for bail for all the 49, and I'll seek to lay these medical reports before this court, my Lord. My Lord, the affidavit in opposition, uh, my submission is in regard to the application which is premised on the presumption of innocence, my Lord. And there is nothing that has been presented by the prosecutors, by the respondents, to show no form of evidence whatsoever to show that any of the 49 applicants has ever been convicted of either the offence charged or any other. What has been done is to seek to take this court on a fishing voyage of expedition by the deponent of this affidavit. I therefore request, my Lord, that this court is too serious a forum to be taken to such an expedition. And we pray that you may exercise that discretion in declining to consider anything in opposition and exercise the discretion premised on the presumption of innocence. We pray, my Lord. I'm saying, yeah, you want to? Yeah. Whether or not the applicants were tortured or have suffered torture. We well, invite this Honorable Court to take judicial notice of the fact that many of the applicants were visibly ailing and in pain when they appeared before this Honorable Court. And the deponent has not taken any trouble to explain that particular condition of each of the applicants and disclaim the torture all explain the reason for such pain and discomfort in which they were. Therefore, my Lord, we, we submit that this is a proper case for this Honorable Court to, to grant bail to all the 49 applicants. The offense is not as grave as the respondents want it to appear. And just a few minutes, this Honorable Court was pleased to even grant bail on its own cognizance without sureties. And we invite this Honorable Court, in light of the sureties presented before and of our submissions, to be pleased to release these accused persons who have been in detention for all this period and many of whom need treatment and other medical care. On which this court can base to deny them bail. My Lord, we all know that these applicants are presumed to be innocent of any allegations because that is a non-derogable constitutional right under the tenet of fair hearing. So a mere and unsubstantiated claim of violent conduct by a deponent should not be basis for this court to deny bail to the applicants. Now, the deponent claims in paragraph 5 that if released on bail, those respective applicants will, are likely to continue with the violent conduct. First of all, we've submitted that it's not true. There's no proof of violent conduct. But secondly, this is very speculative by the deponent. He's speculating and this court cannot work on 
speculation and presumptions. It's a court of hard facts and evidence. Six. My Lord, it is clear from the affidavit, especially paragraph three, rather two, that the deponent is an investigating officer in this particular matter. He did not participate in the arrest of the applicants. Neither is he participating in taking their custody. <coughs> he cannot therefore claim that from the time of their arrest they have been inciting violence and of violent conduct towards police officers. officer attached to CID headquarters and he participated in the investigation of the applicant's case under, UPD, under case number UPDF GCM 001 of 2021 out of which this application arises. My Lord, that he read and understood the contents of the applicant's affidavit and he responds that in paragraph four that he knows that none of the applicants was tortured throughout the whole investigation process. That he knows that applicants number four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 33, 34, 35, 37, 38, 39, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49 from the time they were arrested, were inciting violent protests and were of violent conduct towards police officers, which they are likely to continue if granted bail. Uh, my Lord, in paragraph six, he expresses the purpose of the affidavit that it is to oppose the applications by the mentioned applicants. <coughs> My Lord, we know that grant of bail is the discretion of court. My Lord, on the ground that we have presented, we pray that it be exercised not to grant bail to the applicants.
Read your name, Noro. Excellent one. Rachel Akik to Sime. Number two. Nanso the Safina. Nanso the Safina. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, let's proceed. I'm appearing together with Mr. C. George. Shamim Marende. Shiva Janassam. We appear jointly for all the 49 Africans. Chairman, and 48 others. Then the charge with unlawful possession of ammunition, 
Question for the prosecution. Sorry. Question for the applicant. Get started. For the applicants, to introduce themselves. I wrote the chairman, Donald Sile, and 48 others. Gently charged with and local possession of ammunition. Case is for the prosecution. Sorry. Case is for the applicant. Get started. This court, after listening to both councils, for the applicants and the respondents, has deliberated on this matter and pronounced itself as follows. One, that this court finds surety substantial for the applicants whose bail was not opposed by the council for the respondents. Two, that the offenses are available by this court. Three, this court finds merit in the application of those applicants whose bail was not objected by the respondent's counsel. Four, this court also studied the medical document of A13 in Tega William, also known as Chumacha Yesu. Accordingly, this court grant bail to A1, Rachel Akiki Tumisime, A2, Nan Sove, Sofian, A3, Namwanje, Jaramia Chaliango, A9, Miro John, A13, Integra William, also known as Chuma Chaya Yesu, A13, Ismail Nyansi Kadum, A24, Obicho Boni, also known as Makanika, A29, Nanguburu Fatuma, A30, Namuyumbai Joy, also known as Joy Strong, S31, Tumishirue, Monica, also known as Monique, S32, Lutaya Oliver, S36, Musisi Bendik, and F40, Nyansima Nelson, on the following terms. One, the applicant should not go beyond the limits of Kampala and Wakso District without court's permission. Two, the applicant should report to this court twice a month after every 14 days on Wednesdays. Three, each of the applicants are bound to 20 million shillings, not cash. Four, each of the charities presented is bound to 50 million shillings not cash. Five, the applicant should report to this court as and when required. Breach of the any of the above terms will lead to automatic cancellation of bail. The applicant whose bail, the applicants are presumed innocent on any allegation and and unstable Sanctioned claim of the opponent should not be grant, uh, should not should not be a ground to deny the applicant's bail. He said that the offence against the applicant is not as grave as the opponent would like it to appear. Counsel said that no evidence has been presented before this court that any of the 49 applicants had ever been convicted of any offense. He prayed that this court grants bail to the applicant basing 
on the resumption of innocence. Further, counsel said that S13 is due to undergo operation in Zambia, which it cannot do while in prison, and he submitted this with a medical report availed to court. Court counsel prayed that this court be placed to grant bail to all the applicants. Two, the ruling will be delivered on Monday, 15th day of February 2021. We saw rule done at Makindi this eighth day of February 2021 under my hand and seal of this court.